XP. A little bit of extra info has uh, come up for the upcoming South African Nationals. I now have the schedule for the event, including the missions that they're going to play. The missions themselves were, were posted lately, and they are from the uh, recently uh, released WTC mission pack. So they're sticking close to the... Um, the missions for the WTC. I guess the WTC players uh, down in South Africa are training for that event, which is nice. Um, I, I highly encourage that. So I think we should go and see what the event is putting on here. Here we go. So it's a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday, and it's coming up on the 4th and 5th of November, if I remember correctly, or is it the 5th and 6th? Um, and they start out with half an hour registration. My experience from running events is that that may not be enough, um, but you guys will figure that out uh, as you go, right? Um, I usually set aside an hour for it, but that, then again, that really depends on, on what's going on at the same time, right? In Denmark, we usually do... Um, it's usually a thing that people bring their own tables for events. So people will sign up saying, I will bring two tables. Um, and they need time to set all that up. So half an hour is not enough because there's not only the registration, that people are getting registered, everyone is checking in and people are just setting up their armies and stuff. Um, but it's also a matter of getting the last table set up. Um, so for me, I would want... The, at least the gates to open at 8. Um, we'll see. The tournament I'm going to uh, on Saturday here, uh, they actually open the doors two hours before um, before the first round. Then we have round number one, which is uh, two hours and 40 minutes, which is a little bit of an odd number, but uh, I, I like it. It does give you enough time to finish games for most players. Uh, some events, if they're very friendly, will do three-hour rounds. Um, of course, going into the WTC, you're going down to two-hour rounds. Uh, but So it's a matter of setting your expectation level here. The first round is a, a warm-up round, in my eyes. It's meeting engagement, so you're playing a kill point mission, which is fairly easy, and, and everyone knows what's going on. Um, so so that is, is nice to start with. Some tournaments I see set up in the way that you have the kill point mission last, um, because then people are tired and they won't really remember the mission and everything is making everyone is making mistakes. Um, but you can also do do the kill points as a warm up, and and the South African dudes are doing this. Then they have a lunch break of um, of. Uh, 35 minutes, uh, which if you have lunch in the venue is totally enough. If you have to go and order lunch outside, uh, then that might be a problem. But of course, people can bring their own. Um, then at 12.15 to, uh, to uh, like five minutes to three, they have round number two. Again, we have... Um, so two hours and 40 minutes, uh, and they're playing key positions, so uh, objective missions. I wonder if they're going to roll for how many objectives uh, the whole uh, tournament use, or if they're just going to roll individually by table. Um, I've seen both done. Um, sometimes uh, it can be a success just rolling for the... Um, if the TO rolls and says, well, we're all playing with three objectives. Um, I've done it, and I've also had, I've also brought to tournaments uh, objective markers, so all the tables had the same objective markers, poker chips basically, um, because objectives you're just measuring from the center anyway. And then they have another break uh, between round two and three, and then from uh, fifteen fifteen until um, almost six o'clock, uh, they have they are playing double envelopment. Very nice starting day, good uh, tournament uh, missions here. Uh, I like them all. And we have one objective mission, one kill point mission, and one placement mission. Um, and then on Sunday, 
They have two missions, two games. I like this because on Sunday you're really knackered. Most likely uh, some of the players will have been partying a little bit. Uh, Saturday evening, just celebrating that they're all together and goofing around with friends. And that can mean that on Sunday people are tired, they want to go home. There is also the drive home, which can be a bit of an issue. Um, so they start at nine again, two, and a, two hours and 40 minutes again, uh, sectors. Um, again, so it's a placement mission. Um, and then there's the lunch, and then round three, the final mission, is the one that most players will struggle with, I think. And it is time the objectives. Last weekend we played this um, just because it's one of the missions that we're training up to the uh, WTC. It's a really good mission. I really enjoy it quite a lot. It encourages you to be aggressive and to push up towards objectives. And I would highly suggest anyone to go and watch my tactical tutorial I've done on that. Um, I'll link it in the doobly-doo uh, if you want to go and see. Um, it's a really good mission because you get you get victory points per turn, per, per the ending of the turn, Put each objective you control, so you can you can actually die in this mission. You can get completely wiped and still win it, which I did at the WTC. <laughs> Thank you, Uwe. He he completely kicked my army to the curb, but I won just on on standing on objectives and being shot to pieces. And then there's a prize giving at the end. Twenty minutes for prizes. I I suggest that this might pull, uh, might be a bit longer. Um, I have not yet been to a tournament that uh, that they could keep that within 20 minutes just because you're going to have to do all the accounting for who won and then you're going to have to get everyone to come up and get their prize and get a handshake and people applaud and that, that all takes time. So, very, very nice pack. I, uh, <laughs> I wish I was going. Right. Cheers.